as an RBA dude. Yay! <laughs> Forgive me for that approach. By the way, that was my approach with a lot of help from the guy in the other seat. It's been about 30 years since I've played with this. I've had uh, six or seven hours under my belt now just playing with this. That was my approach. Okay, so go ahead. Talk up, John, so they can hear you. Okay, now then. Uh, I'm a 3,000 hour pilot. Doc here is a 12,000 hour pilot. You're in good hands. Okay. I'm the rookie. Okay, obviously, first and foremost, there's no smoking around the aircraft. I don't even see the evidence of thank you here. So anyway, that, that's a typical, uh, typical thing around airplanes. Number two, loose items. Uh, there's going to be a lot of wind in that aircraft. Maybe as much as that or not, something like that. Uh, you can have your camera, but it's got to be attached to your person. Caps are going to be kind of a no-no. Probably, you should leave them here. Don't even go out there with them, because they'll get blown out yeah, in a minute. You need to leave your hats here. Leave your hats here. Um, pictures have already been taken care of. This is going to be as fast as we can make it. We have a limited amount of fuel on board, so we don't need to take the pictures. After we shut down. After you shut, after we throw, you shut after down, after we then you can go do your pictures, so please. Um, operation will fail. Uh, if those of you have been in here before, you can probably recognize this thing, but it was, we just refer to it as the bayonet type belt. This is the two pieces. This is the bayonet side. This is the receiver side. The bayonet goes into the little U clip here, and there's, there's a handle that has to be snapped down. I will give you a lot of help here, but I just want you to know the belt. The uh, safety, or there's an adjustment on the side. You want it good and snug like any other safety belt. We have three safety belts. In the center of the airplane for our children. <laughs> but y'all can use them. So yes, yes, they're not. Just, they're just as commercial. Well, they're like air commercial airlines. These are the typical Bell helicopter army safety belt. Okay, uh, first aid kits. We have two of them on board. They're ones located on each side of the aircraft behind the pilot and the co pilot's head. Those are the, the, uh, the uh, first aid kits. They're, I won't tell you too much more about those. Fire extinguisher, we have one on board. It's on the right side, by dock side. Uh, again, that's not necessarily for your use. You should need that. Crew members will use it, but you need to know that it's there. It's a typical first aid kit, full pin, full leaf. Uh, emergency exits, it's kind of a no-brainer. <laughs> it's the door you came in. Emergency <laughs> exit. Uh, if that aircraft should land in some place other than this parade field, that means there's a problem sometimes. <coughs> if that happens and you're told to exit, you would exit the aircraft and go forward in the aircraft up to the nose so the pilots and the crew can see you. We don't want you back there around the tail rotor. The tail rotor's running at 2,500, 3,000 RPM, something like that. It'll split your head wide open and it's about this high to me. So anyway, stay away from the rear aircraft. Uh, just for what it may be worth, there's uh, the word experimental on the side. So the, on the, uh, bulkheads of the aircraft. Obviously this was an Army aircraft. It was never run through the FAA system, so by FAA regulations we have to quit it. Doesn't mean that it's not a good aircraft. I don't think I have to explain any more to that, but that's what it means. It's an FAA requirement. Uh, follow the guidance of the loaders. Just watch them. They'll take you out there, as Doc said. There's 10 seats on there. There's five across the, the middle of the aircraft, two in the hell hole, or the Gunner's well, and then one up next to the crew chief, so there's 10 seats there. Uh, be advised, the hell hole, Gunner's well, and all the way in. It's best ride in the house. Then. Okay, that's my safety view. Any all right. questions? Any questions? Do we need these tonight? What's that? Or do we need these on these tapes and documents? No, ma'am, you can, you know, I, if, anything you want to leave behind, leave behind you. You're, you're subject to lose it, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, we change, and I told you we're, we're fluid. I told you we're going to go to the right, or to the left. Now we're going to go to the right. So when we start this process, everybody will stand up, just kind of move to the end, go up around, go through the process, come back down and find a seat. Remember, the manifest that you're on, stay with those 10 people. You have a colored armband, you'll know who you are, and those 10 people will go to the airplane together. We are not going to start anything until I got three manifests. When I have three manifests built, I'll take the first one along with the crew, myself, Al, and Tom Owens, we're the, we'll be your crew today. Uh, then we'll all go to the aircraft, aircraft together. The loaders will load you. 
Al and I will try to figure out how to crank it. So.